Hi hey guys, it is E-Man 2000 here, and I'm going to talk to you today about these 9 volt battery hack things. Uh, they've been going around, I just want to clear a couple things up. We're going to open two different batteries and we're going to find two completely different things inside. Let's start with the Energizer. Yeah, and just take a needle nose ply, you probably already know how to open them, but it's pretty easy to do. And of course, one of the most useful things that you get out of here as an electronics person is the 9-volt uh, battery top here. You can make a 9-volt battery clip out of that. So, that's pretty easy. If you can get it started, basically you can just clamp onto it and curl it around. Like so. And actually, I think that's like record time for me. And you'll see, with Energizer ones, you're going to get a bunch of little loose uh, quadruple A batteries. Just like that. Then you have this, and you're going to want to knock out this uh, the back piece too. And you can take off the little metallic and the uh, paper things off these two. And then right there, you just glue these two together while you solder wires onto there and then glue these two together and that's a 9 volt battery clip so this battery is already dead so I'm not going to bother going through and testing these but these are quadruple A's uh, there's not much to say about them one thing to notice is that this is actually the negative not the positive usually that is going to be your positive but it is backward on these batteries so the flat side is the positive and the oops pointed end is the negative. So let's just go ahead and open up the, uh, the rail back here. And I'm going to be a little bit more careful on this one because I know what's in here. Uh, it's not going to uh, exactly kill you or anything. It's encased in plastic but slightly dangerous uh, if you try to open it okay then so if we pull it okay so there's your top of the battery there just try and pull it out there we go and then there's the uh, bottom of it well you see you got something totally different inside you got the, the uh, 9 volt battery clip up here and you've got all of this uh, alkaline material in here and it, as you can see it's encased in plastic this is no big deal but of course you gotta let's go ahead and take off the clip here if I can okay that's good enough you can see there there's some things that are stamped on the top of there US patent number nothing really there and I'm not going to bother tearing this part anymore because you can basically see what's in there and there's this part and then that goes down to the next cell and then so on and so forth so different brands of batteries are going to have different um, things this one is actually painted white on the inside there it's kind of weird this other one is just like a brass case or something but you know you can use both of these as 9 volt battery clips but you can't get the quadruple A's out of them. And uh, really, quadruple A's pretty much useful. Unless you're trying to build a 9 volt battery. Now, Duracell ones are kind of an uh, interesting one. They have, um, they have the quadruple A's in them, but they're um, uh, soldered together instead of just loosely in there, they're all soldered to each other. So, I usually only tear apart the, uh, the dead ones, because it's pretty much no use to me. Um, anyhow, that's about it for 9-volt battery hacks.